Okay, so before we begin, I think I need to acknowledge that this is the last time I'm going to be making a commentary video, mostly because I really don't enjoy making them anymore, because I don't really care about drama in the sorts all that much. The only reason I'm making this one is because it's about a topic I'm really passionate about. And lastly, yes, in my last video about Game Grumps I was really needlessly aggressive when I didn't need to. And while I did it for the reason of giving myself an exaggerated persona, it really didn't work well in the video where I tried to make serious points at the same time as jokish insults. So for that, I apologise. With that being said, I still agree with the points I made in that video, and I'll try to be as objective as possible this time, although that won't always be the case for certain points. I wasn't even expecting to make this video. When I mentioned it at the end of my cartoon community video, I said that with absolutely no intention of actually making it. But seeing some of the recent things that have been going on with the channel, I really can't resist talking about it. So let's talk about some of the things that have been going on with the Game Grumps channel since my last video. And why I think Aaron's channel, sorry, I mean, Aaron's entertainment company, is on its last legs. I mentioned in my previous video how with Let's Plays becoming less and less popular, Aaron has been trying many different strategies to extend the channel's life cycle. At the point of that video coming out, it was only really smaller signs of this, but since then the channel has completely changed in how they do things. First of all, they're really trying their best to make their videos not look like Let's Plays, by removing the word Game Grumps from anything that isn't a best of series. Now giving videos much shorter, more vague titles like 30 not so great games, B movie, the game, the YouTube video, and vomit, the Wii game. Why Wii? This is because the average YouTube goer who doesn't know of the Game Grumps won't feel alienated because they don't know of the channel or the Grumps, and will be much more likely to click on something vague and random. It's almost like a trick. Oh look, a video about the B-movie game- Oh, it's just a Let's Play. Furthermore, in terms of marketing, they focus a lot less on multiple-parted series now and would much rather play some random shovel war game for the Wii so they can have a clickbaity title, and will, in theory, make for a funnier video. Because Game Grumps humor nowadays completely relies on just making fun of what's happening on screen. <laughs> My leg! <laughs> Look at her leg. Ah, they're gonna die! Rather than, you know, making jokes themselves. The last game they played for more than 30 minutes was Sonic Adventure 2. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because I don't know where else to put this clip. That was gonna be like my second Let's Play. No shit. Yeah, before, you know, I was gonna do it with somebody else. Just says fucking name. But anyways, as a result of only making one-offs to try and make their content more accessible to random people just looking for a quick video to watch then get on with their day, this has angered their core fanbase who subscribed for the Grumps Let's Plays where they actually play a game for more than 15 minutes before moving on to the next piece of trash. In one way, I do get where they're coming from, but in another way it just goes to show that Aaron is much more focused in the business aspect of Game Grumps rather than the stuff that his true fans want him to make more of. I think in the future Aaron should put more care in trying to have a mix between random one-offs and full playthroughs to appease their fans. They used to have an easier job at pulling this off because they had more than one gameplay series with other people, but it seems that everyone besides Aaron and Dan have left Game Grumps for one reason or another. I wonder why. Let's just hope for Aaron's sake that Dan never decides to leave because who knows what Aaron would be uploading if that ever happened. W oh, what's that? Aaron uploaded nothing but original content starring himself for five days? Oh. I wonder how that went over. Enter the Franklin and Jimmy series. Any time before when Aaron has uploaded videos only featuring himself, they were extremely boring, although sometimes interesting videos with little to no comedy, further proving my point that Aaron relies heavily on the other hosts. So when Aaron had to make some content recently without Dan, he decided to put on a silly voice and ramble for 15 minutes. But I will do, I will play a game on the computer for, for my uh, relative Aaron, because I believe in him and I believe in what he is doing. I think he puts a positive message in, into his into his uh, his entertainment. Rinse and repeat for eight videos. These series were quickly panned by the fans, garnering a much greater amount of dislikes compared to their other videos. I think it's safe to say that if Dan ever left Game Grumps, then the channel would be as good as dead. Well, even deader than it is now. But I'm sure Aaron would be able to sustain himself just fine from selling overpriced merch. Like a $100 pin. Okay, so Aaron, Dan, and Bran recently released their third Starbum album, full of totally tubular, radical, most epicest video game party songs in the entire universe. And it's about as average as the other two. Some good songs, some bad songs, some. Bye. Bye. My name, my name is Donkey Kong. Just my name. Does this even classify as music? But anyway, they made some limited edition merch for this new album, including this teeny tiny little pin that you got for spending a certain amount of money. How much would you say this is worth? Well, based on other YouTubers' pins, I'd say around five, maybe ten dollars. Guess how much they charged. 
Well, I already said how much this joke makes no sense. I'm sorry, but this isn't defendable, no matter what YouTuber it is. That's such a scummy thing to do when you're already charging them so much for the other merch. And what makes this so limited edition? It looks worse than the other pins. They also didn't announce this pin until way after the pre-orders for the album were already over, which would have saved people a good $40 if they got the deluxe edition. And people buy it. This isn't against the people who buy this stuff. I'm really, really not one to talk about buying overpriced merch, but it just goes to show that Aaron is fine with taking advantage of his fans' dedication to him. And lastly, I know this doesn't have much to do with the channel itself, but Aaron recently made a tweet referring to it as an entertainment company, and when some random guy made an obvious joke about it, Aaron felt compelled to reply boasting about all his achievements. And some felt a little… not true. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I checked, Dream Daddy wasn't the second best-selling indie game of 2017. And in regards to Good Game, I'll be fair and say I can't really comment on its overall quality since I only watched the first episode. Thankfully though, I've talked to some people who did watch it, and they gladly told me about how... <clears throat> good it was. I'm sorry, but all these achievements seem a little less impressive when you actually look at the content he's referring to, and realise that none of it is really that great. In my opinion, of course. In the end, not that big of a deal, but it does show how egotistical he is about his Let's Play channel. Aaron sure is doing a good job at putting the ego in Ego Raptor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. In conclusion, the point of all this is to show that Game Grumps is going on a sharp decline and shows no signs of stopping. They keep trying to extend their lifespan, which in and of itself isn't a bad thing, but as a result distances themselves more and more with their original identity, and ends up pissing off their true fans even more than they already have, and it seems like Aaron is trying to milk all he can out of this before it finally goes under. And to all the people who I'm sure will comment again saying that I'm just jealous, or that I'm complaining about nothing, or that I'm just looking for attention. Well, first of all, you watched this far, so if you think that, why give me said attention? But come back to this video in a year, and you can prove me wrong. If the Game Grumps channel is still alive and well making the same kind of content a year from now, then I implore you to dislike this video all you want, and comment that I'm just some pathetic retard saying shit that's never gonna happen. They're quickly reaching burnout. And I, for one, won't be shedding a tear at the sight of not getting my bi-daily dose of dick and fart jokes.